I put you in a unit with Archie today. Sergeant, make your permanent assignment. Welcome aboard. Welcome back. Yeah, that's it. Uh, one more thing. Yeah. Guys? Guys? Yeah. An insane person's trying to shoot us. Zemo puts him in a car, but that could change. Watch your rooftops. Watch your backs. Be careful out there. Lieutenant. Hi, Ann. That's just for today, am I right? Or I ride with Pisi? Got a problem? It's just for today. Did you go see Marty's family? I don't know what I'd say. I want to find out what she was doing. When's the IED report come back? Captain said he was going to let me know. Is the place any different? Not as you'd notice. Hey, what was Goldblum like as a young punk? It was shorter. <laughs> Annie? Yeah. Come here, Annie, would you? What are you doing here? I, uh... Stay out of this. Stay out of this. Well, I don't think it's a good idea you, you come in here. Oh, you're full of good ideas for me, kid. You've been a great thing for me. Annie, please! Let's, uh, go away. We can't, Tom. That is not gonna happen. Annie! Let me take us both out of it. Come on, Annie. What are you talking about? Please! We're better off dead. Oh, my God. Man with a gun! Tom, drop the weapon. You get away! <laughs> you leave us alone! Penny? Tom? Seems to have been a love triangle. Isn't the woman Anne Schwitzer? 
Yes, she was a rookie with us. She and Paisa were transferred here. The young one? The three of them have been at Polk Avenue. Coordinate for ID, would you please? Of course, Frank. Pfizer, Captain. Uh, what went on here? I think that it was a responsible discharge of my weapon, sir. I mean, what went on before you brought your party to my precinct? This is a complicated situation, Captain. Well, I understand. Anne had been seeing Tom Hollister, and then she began seeing me. The bottom line is that she stopped dating both of us two weeks ago. She didn't want any of this to happen. Neither of us did. So you get transferred together? We tried not to, but we requested immediate transfer, so personnel put us here. You see, the Hill's the only precinct that's understaffed. You gonna read me a lesson in police demographics now? No, sir. Captain? Officer Pfizer? Yes, sir. Lieutenant Shipman, IAD. I have to give you my statement. Yeah. Sounds like a hell of a mix up, Pfizer. Yes, sir. I mean, downtown, too. Henry! What information did you have on Pfizer and Schwitzer prior to roll call? Just the transfer material? Nothing in the jackets? They're being forwarded. Damn it, Henry. What, you saying that's my fault that the jackets are in transit? Yes, I'm still feeling aftershocks from the other night. Where is it safe anymore? Not here, today. I hope everyone's done with target practice. You ready to move? Yeah, and all of them. They pick up Fox and Goldblum at Midtown Vice, take Marino at the Liars' breakfast. You want to go in or wait till Marino? No, we go in. That's your end, Frank. Whatever you think is best. Whew. 17 degrees outside. I'm sweating like a pig. I guess nervous is okay. I guess Eisenhower was nervous on D-Day, wasn't he? Let's hit the beach. I never should have had anything to do with him. I never should have gone near him. Pizer. Hey, he's a rookie assigned to me. I got a responsibility to train. But I swear, what's in my heart now, I felt the first I ever saw him. The first time he ever walked into the precinct. So, A. Hey, I immediately should request a different pairing eight months ago. And you can't live out of some manual. And B, I was in the other relationship. I was seeing Hollister. Were you living with him? Oh, no. He used to say he couldn't live with himself. How was he going to live with me? Plus, he'd also say, I know I like you. Because you're a sensible broad and a beer drinker. So he watches me fall like a ton of bricks for a kid 12 years younger. That's some sensible broad. You know, Hollister just tried to croak you. I don't think he should be too high on your sympathy list. Well, I tried to end it with him. I tried to end it with both of them. These stupid SOBs and personnel, they put us in the same precinct. So you put in for another transfer? Yeah. I got to. I got to. Because every time I look at this kid's face, and I work too hard. But I look at him, I don't care about anything else. Hey, Luce. In a minute. I'm fine. Go on. Sure? Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. No problem. I'll see you later. Is this 
If something is this how terrible, I'm going to fatigue. Where? Where? In the basement. That's where, where they're calling the numbers. I run the diagonal bingo like this, and that pitcher wouldn't give me the silver toaster. I'm very sorry, ma'am. I can't help you. You shouldn't be too surprised, but it's Bessie Testament's nephew. The apple don't fall too far from the tree, you know? I can't help you. You have to go away. Can't help? That's correct. Am I correct that you're a policeman? Can't a mark of a set? Don't shush! You're a policeman, so you have to enforce the law. It's game six for the toaster. I won a diagonal bingo! Go away. Do you understand? Go away. Some cop. And it's my great pleasure to report that Toby Canfield, last year's Holy Name Scholarship, averaged 12 minutes a game, 6.2 rebounds. Hey. 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 Maybe someday I'll locate a jump shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Canfield and the other hoopsters make their annual appearance at War Memorial Auditorium two weeks from Saturday night. Hope you can make the game to see your dollars at work. Thank you. Good work, Tony. There's no truth to the rumor Tony took the chairmanship for the inside poop if they'll cover the spread. <laughs> now, tickets for the annual St. Patrick's Day soiree start sales next Monday. Lieutenant Harrison's the man at the till. Now, uh, we've got the ballroom of the Masonic Hall again, which means they must have made the repairs from last year. <laughs> What's that, New Washington? You guys trying to integrate us? Call an unscheduled committee meeting, Tony? Let's do this quietly. Peace hey, on the table, what huh? What the hell is going on here? How bad is this? Bad. Come on, let us in on the joke, fellas. Must be the parking tickets. Let's go, Tony. Which turned on? Yeah, Einstein, I do. Why don't you check the socket? Hello? Can I help you? Uh, you're in the donut shop where I work. Uh, you remember I recognized you from your picture in the paper? I was talking to your partner, Joe. Oh. What about now? It's on, and there's somebody here to see you. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Hi. How you doing? Fine. Uh, that plug had an extra prong in it. It wouldn't fit in the extension cord, so I had to smash it in. Okay. Great piece of safety legislation. The law requires polarized plugs that don't fit to have the extension cords. No kidding. <laughs> I'm in paralegal school. Uh, we just finished doing some consumer stuff. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, uh, Joey, I brought you a couple apricot supremes and uh, a couple of coffees for the two of you. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. I felt bad we were out of your faves. Hey, Luce, I got a compensator for these, right? It's corruption. Oh, come on. No, I was thinking maybe uh, along the lines of lunch sometime. Oh, not again. The wrong idea about my property, man! Oh! You made me think this is so crushed! Cut me, bum! Come on! Hey, come on! That's it! That's it! Hey! Hey, the card event's over. Drop it. What if you urinated on my car, man? You did that? I was trying to unfreeze the lock. 
What's this, tooth powder? Control sucks, guys. Cheers. What's that? Huh? Uh, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. You got a match loose? No. You got to urinate on it. That's because I already softened it up for you. You've conferred. Thank you. We allege 27 counts, 14 counts of corruption, seven counts making and receiving of bribes, one count theft, one count of conspiracy to sell, two count sale of A-class narcotics. 27. One count attempted murder of a police officer while in performance of his duty. One count of murder of a police officer while in performance of her duty, which is a capital crime. Tony, should we talk again? About what? If I can open my veins, I'm going to take poison. You're busy men, right? You're, you're not curiosity seekers. You're here to do business. Do you want me to break down and cry? I, everyone pretend I, I broke down and cried. What's your deal? He pleads to the capital crime. He pleads to one charge of narcotic sale. And I'll give him immunity on the murder of Ben Seltzer if he testifies against Fox and Goldblum. I want to hear the confession. Just a shot, Frank. I need some information. Frank, my unit's been decimated. Do you know they busted Fox and Goldblum at Midtown? Yes, I know that, Jerry. Well, what the hell is going on? I, look, I can't talk to you about this now. Maybe later, all right? Any news on the sniper, Ray? Nothing at all. Jose Alec and Leo. They got him in lineup. I'm taking the day. We really need to talk. No. Annie. You shouldn't be alone now. Are you going to go back now and be with Tom? No. Please, can I call you tomorrow? No. I said no. Me. Why? Because you're a kid. Because you show up with this goofy smile and you're too good. I let you too far in. And you make me break all my own rules. Because I love you. You know, I used to have a nice life. It wasn't great. It wasn't fireworks going off, but it was all right. It wasn't crazy. And you screwed it all up, my life, my job. You screwed up everything. It's hard to believe you meet the criteria for indigence, Mr. Alican. Hey, speak English, will you? Judging by the car you drive, I don't think you're broke. You don't think I got expenses? I got four women working. Three of them are knocked up. Three out of four. You know how that Mr. is? Mr. Allerton. One of them gets pregnant. And then it's, oh, Maria's going to have Jose's baby. She's going to get close to him. You're and then they stop taking care of themselves. You're not hearing me, Mr. Allerton. And then people wonder why you get high. I am saying that if you have money, you cannot receive the services of this office. 
And I'm telling you that I got expenses. Yes, Chief. Thank you. Your Fuchs is here, but I haven't talked to him. Yes, I will do. Mm -hmm. Chief Daniels wants me to walk into the bathroom, look myself in the brown eyeball, and give myself a hearty pat on the back. Man, some kind of motivational genius. Frank, you've got to wait for another lawyer on this Jose Alarcon. He's not indigent. I thought you people represented right through arraignments regardless. Not today we don't. I see. Uh, well, uh, I'll see if I can get a court appointed. I just walked out. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll have Leo make the call. No, no, no. I'll, I'll do it. I just thought I should warn you. Frank, can we go away someplace this weekend? I need it. I'd love it. I don't know how you stay so even. Oh, 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 ask Henry. About an hour ago, I was holding him responsible for the Crimean War. <laughs> I love you. I love you, pizza man. Uh, now, if we can just get to the weekend without my killing anybody else and you're not seeing any doctors, maybe we'll be all right. Oh, congrats on Marino. You deserve some pets. This weekend? If not sooner. Hey, have you got a minute for me? I guess so. I think, uh... I owe you a... Uh, I think I owe you a apology for my behavior yesterday. No, no, it's all right. I was just under so much pressure. I knew the feeling, Joyce. And I just couldn't talk to anyone. Least of all, your husband's ex-wife. I think, uh... Maybe most of all. Faye, it wasn't just the shooting. I had also just found out that I can't have children. I'm so sorry for both of you. Thank you. Anyway, it wasn't a great day all the way around. And when you asked me at lunch, I was suddenly so angry with you. Because I have children. Because you have his child. Joyce. Frank Jr. has always had a tremendous crush on you. And I was very jealous. You're so beautiful. And so very special. And when he would go on and on and on about you, I'd feel rejected and hurt. And then I said, put yourself in her shoes. And what I saw was that ditzy woman I'd become. The ex-wife always coming around bothering her husband, never knowing when to give up. I swear to you, Joyce, I didn't want to be like that. I don't know. Maybe I couldn't help it. The point is that when you got married, I decided I wasn't going to be a ditz anymore. Not for anything. And you're not. Anyhow, Frank Jr. really loves you, and I'm not threatened by that anymore. So maybe, maybe you could be his mother too. Just his father's wife. Thank you, Faye. Don't 
Just finishing, there'll be more. I want somebody there when coffee comes out of surgery. He may have seen something you see did. Right. Marino's ready. What are we going to give him? No death penalty, possible federal incarceration. Officer Nichols. Yeah. Why was she killed? She got greedy. She was an ambitious chick. I mean, she started out. I think she wanted to improve her career. But then when she saw things were, I mean, when she saw no way you're gonna stop any of this, that this drugs is a flood and everyone gets rich except the citizens. Believe it, you're not gonna stop any of it. The best is you let them kill themselves and you take their money. That's, uh, that's all you can do. Officer Nichols. I, uh, I believe we arrested a guy, uh, Joey Batts, who... Joseph Gambatista. Yeah. Which has her first arrest, a new officer, you'd make available a little rhythm, maybe 500 bucks to see if she was interested. Uh, you leave the dough on the subject's kitchen table or in his bathroom, and, uh, the, the arresting officer questions, uh, what's the disposition of this? They're informed it's uh, it's theirs, and you find out they're interested. And uh, she demonstrated an interest. Uh, subsequently, uh, we uh, we became personally involved. Uh, I became involved with her. Imagine that, black chick. As time went on, she threatened me with a jackpot. She don't want to be kept, see? We're going to be partners, or she'll turn me in. So I had her whacked. Jerry, this isn't appropriate. The hell it isn't. He's my guy. I want to hear what he did. No, 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 no. Let him stay. Let him stay. This is the first time he ever wanted to know how things are. You see, this guy is a joke. People are lined up trying to get at his command. Meaning, meaning division, Vice? The entire command was corrupt? No, not the whole division. His direct command, uh, Mizell, Sally, Benedetto, me, uh, Foxy, Donnie... You got on the Fuchs, man. It was it was Disneyland. Because the guy, the guy is such a mutt. It, his ant farm. See, that, that, that's his big thing. I mean, right there in the office, the guy is raising ants. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, you're very brave with five people in the room, aren't you? Oh, Captain. Captain, remember... Remember the last time you went out with us? The last time you actually tried to be a cop? What? That had to be, uh, that had to be four or five years ago? We're, uh, we're staking out this, uh, the shooter's alley. Things get a little tight. It's looking like we might have been set up. And the brave captain, well, uh, he's not taking it so well. I mean, he's shaking, he's looking a little pasty. And all of a sudden... <laughs> The car doesn't smell so good anymore. <laughs> I 
I mean, it happens. You know, three-year-olds do it all the time. Since that night, the captain isn't so interested in how things are going anymore. Excuse me. They all, Jerry Fuchs. He took off out the front door like the building was on fire. Mayor Cleveland, Midtown was your precinct. Could you, do you care to speculate on the possibility that there are more cops involved? At this point, I can't say positively that there aren't. Now, if you'll excuse me. I would like to stress that nothing in our investigation points toward any involvement on the part of Mayor Cleveland. Uh, Chief, and will this scandal further the demands for a civilian review board? Uh, There's no E on that. reason at all why I should. Pardon? The guy arrested in Midtown is gold blown. No E. This is known as the big fish eat what the little fish made. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Casey. Yeah. Mr. Casey, there is a phone call being forwarded from your office. Oh, thank you. Chief, why don't you just give us the names of all the officers involved? I think that would be premature. Suffice it to say, we have ferreted out a large-scale corruption which we will deal with swiftly and appropriately. Frank, I think we should... Frank? Irwin? I think congratulations are to both of you. I'm talking about Maureen. I'm sorry it came so suddenly, Oz, but uh, we'll move in on this pretty quickly. Well, I wouldn't normally condone secrecy in this department, but in this instance, it looks like your war room was the right idea. So much for keeping secrets from the king. Chief, can you comment on the speculated involvement between Detective Marino and the female officer that was killed yesterday? That investigation is ongoing, and there'll be no statement at this time concerning that situation. Thank Chief. you, ladies and gentlemen. If I can just Thank ask you for your time. Uh, Chief Daniels. Hi. Hi. How's so coffee? Convinced he's not going to make it through the night without his trashy magazines and junk food. He's going to be okay, right? Yeah, he's going to be fine. Lieutenant, what is going on? The sniper calls. Says he wants to turn himself in. Here? No, no, no. The diner. Excuse me. Good day to you. Yes, yeah, same to you. Ah, you're Sephardic. Sure. Sometime. Hey, Jew? Uh, kill me, please. There they go! Stop him! They robbed the gang! <laughs> Some kind of Jewish holiday? Not that I know of. Refill? Uh, no, no, thanks. Uh, my kidneys floated out of here on the last cup. Hey, what's happening, fellas? Man, this is making me crazy. Hey, be cool, babe. Thanks. Nobody said homicidal maniacs had to be punctual. <laughs> I probably out there somewhere just laughing that shit, Kate. I'm inclined to think you're correct in your assumption, Andrew. What do you say we write this off to experience? Let's go home. Hey, hey what, what, what's happening, Lieutenant? Pulling up stakes, Freddy. Thanks for the cooperation. You going? This is Wolf Leader to all units. You may proceed homeward. I repeat, you may proceed homeward. 10-4. Uh, maybe you ought to stay a little while longer, Lieutenant. Uh, extra coffee's on the house. <laughs> 
I, I, I really want to see you get this guy. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It could be he wants to come, but uh, somebody's stopping him. Uh, he could turn up later. <laughs> I don't think so, Freddy. Here. Well, let, let me change that for you. No, no, keep it. No, 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 no. no I mean, you know, I'll change it. You know something, Lieutenant? What's that? There was this, uh, there was, there was this uniform in here yesterday, and he wanted some orange juice. And I said, well, <laughs> we make a fresh squeeze, so you, it's going to take a little time. Right away, he starts yelling, where's my juice? Well, I, I told him I was, I was real tired and he was just going to have to wait. And when I got it made, he wouldn't pay me for it. No, he, he left it right on the counter and walked out the door. No, well, some people are rude, Freddy. Yeah. I wanted to blow his brains out. I mean, I just wanted to... Like, shoot him in the gut and... Watch him die. <laughs> Ah, see you later, buddy. Don't look at it. This will go right through you. See, you, you, you should have stayed. He was going to come. You, you wouldn't want both of us to die, would you, Freddy? Oh, I need some sleep. I can't think no more. Huh? I'm so damn tired. Uh, well, you wanted to give yourself up. You can do it now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. But he won't let me sleep. I don't want to kill people, but... Uh, he won't let me sleep. Oh, Freddy. Who won't? He sneaks into my room at night. After they turn the lights off over the hotel, I lock the door. I even... I even nailed boards over the window, but... He keeps getting in. Who? The policeman. He's all bloody, and his hands are all burned. He won't let me sleep. Why won't he leave me alone? Do I gotta kill all of you? We got him, Freddy. He, he's in custody. He's under arrest. You're lying. No, no, he's one of you. No, no, he's a bad cop. Like the one that came in here yesterday. We, we've been trying to get him for a long time. Freddy. I got it. I arrest him. Put the handcuffs on him. His hands. You see his hands. We got him, Freddy. He can't hurt you anymore. You know, I, I never wanted to shoot nobody. No. No, it's over, Freddy. You can put the gun down. You can get some rest now. Let's get him down to the station. Go ahead, Eddie. Let's go, 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 Eddie. Let's go,
keep like this before? Get out of the way, fellas. We're going to book your streak in here. Uh, I wonder if I could ask you a favor. Yeah, we have a One of the cops arrested in the Midtown Vice Bus named Goldblum. Oh, relative? No, it's a different spelling. You want to mention in the column that it's two different guys? I sure appreciate it. So my folks. Yeah. You got it. Howard? Frank? I just got the full story. I think you've added something to the phrase grace under pressure. Oh, so. Nothing, Frank, really? Well, just the same. I'm going to put you in for a commendation. The report goes out tonight. Thank you. Conversation when I ID made his report on Marty Nichols. It's bad. There's no way to sugarcoat this, Bobby. She was in it all the way. She started out taking payoffs, then she and Marino became involved, and uh, then she became his accomplice. What do you mean, involved? Personally? Yeah. I don't believe that. Come straight from Marino. Then he's lying. He's a damn liar. IAD did all the legwork, Bobby. They found money, a bank account. Everything Marino said checks out. I'm sorry. How you doing, Captain? So what's the deal? Nothing I can talk about. Maybe later. Okay. Hey, how's your girlfriend? Get him out of here! I could use my belt back. My pants are gonna fall down. Too bad. What, what, what did he do? That's the cop killer. Something you got in common. It don't look like much. The similarities continue. for you. 20,000. It ain't for sale. Thirty. This is a different precinct, Marino. You don't buy cops here.
Hi, guys. Hi, Sandy. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm not the one who was in the shootout. Some shootout. One lousy bullet. You know, a little thing goes in my shoulder, and my whole body ends up hurting. Even my eyebrows. Well, I guess it's a bright side, anyway. Oh, yeah, explain it to me. Well, chances of getting shot once in a career are pretty high. Chances of getting shot twice, they're out of sight. Getting shot three times has to be in front of a firing squad. <laughs> Thanks. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thought you might need some taken care of. Yeah, maybe I do. Want to take my pulse? They said he'd be okay. He wouldn't see me, though. No one would. And he doesn't want to see me at all. I understand that. I guess, you know. But not really. But that's what she wants. She... Back in the day. Yeah. I really don't think hanging around here is going to make it any better. Yeah, well, I was hoping, you know, maybe she would come and... Archie, I think that now Anne really has to be by herself. Are you hungry? I mean, would you like to talk? Yeah, yeah, to both of those. Okay. I'm buying. Uh, we get a hamburger. I don't know. We we'll get some. Frank. Excuse me. Jerry. How are we just calling you again? Thanks for coming. Come here. How? Oh, why don't we sit at the booth? Huh? What? For privacy? I don't have too many secrets left today, do I, Frank? I don't have too much hidden. Come on. Help you? Have a real drink, huh, Frank? Club soda. Nothing worse than a reformed anything, right, Jimmy? That's what they say, Captain. Leave me, Jimmy. This guy used to really put it away. <laughs> guy put his boat under the table. New subject, Jerry. It's a good subject. We used to be buddies, didn't we? Started out in the same place. Used to close places together. <laughs> they used to carry us out on our shields. And you decided to get perfect, didn't you, Frank? Perfect cop. Perfect wife. Perfect little house. Shut up, Jerry. Frank, what the hell do I do? I'd quit. Maybe I should. Despite they didn't reveal one 
instance I was corrupt. Not one instance, Frank, in all the corruption around me. What? What is it? Your unit's a sewer. It was your responsibility and you didn't take it. You didn't do your job. Come on, Frank, don't give me that. You're the only guy who stood beside me. The only guy who answered the calls. Come on, fall off the wagon. Let's get blasted. Come on. I gotta get home. I got scared. I made it my pants because I got scared. And I think that's when I began to lose interest. Because I hated, I hated being afraid. That's what Marino's reference was to, to when I got afraid. Just let go, Jeff. Huh? Just let go. No excuse, right, Frank? No excuse for signing off. None. You're right. You're always right. Okay, well, that's what I wanted, Frank. I, I just wanted to get your advice. Good night. Plaster trying to figure out whose fault the wreck was. I made the mistake of telling him. Is it true what I heard about <laughs> the ant farm? Yeah. If I bring one home, reserve a room for me in the Laughing Academy, would you? Mm, how are you? Okay. 